Hi guys, this is Edureka DevOps. Today, we are taking a look at the topic of config maps. Students have expressed their trouble understanding the use of config maps, and today we are going to address that. But before we begin, if you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing as we upload new videos on leading technologies every day. Also, hit the like button, and if you are looking for online certification on DevOps, check out the links in the description below. So first, let's look at our agenda. We will start by covering what is config maps followed by its use. Then we will look at how config map and secrets are different. Afterwards, we will look at the creation process of config map and proceed to the demo where we will create config maps and use them in pods. So let's begin. So, what is config maps? In Kubernetes, according to the definition, a config map is a API object used for storing non-sensitive data. This data is stored in the key value pairs. These config maps are consumed by pods as environment variables or as configuration files in a volume. The benefit of this is that config map decouples environment specific configuration from container images. This means that your applications can become more portable. Let's understand this a bit further. In Kubernetes, you can think of volume as a file system. Volumes are provisioned to the pods and owned by that pod. The contents of that volume can be mounted into any file system path we like in the pods container. So the config map contain the actual content that you are going to be using to populate a pods volume or environment variable. They contain key value pairs describing file contents, environment variable or some arguments. Now let's look at the use of config map and its purpose. First, let's understand that when you create a pod, you use several environment variables. These values are tightly coupled with the pod. These values are normally typed in the pod's definition. For example, when you use a specific location that is statically defined in the pod definition. Now, if you have multiple pods using the same variable, you will have to edit the pod definition one by one. So you have to change variable, file location, definition, and so on. Kubernetes offer config map as a solution to this boring task where you can define location as a key value pair and that value will be injected into the pod. Now, if you ever want to change the values, all you need to do is edit the config map and that's it. No more tedious work of changing variables and configuration one by one. This saves time and makes things simpler. So let's talk about the similarities and differences of config map and secrets. First, in Kubernetes, these config map and secret might appear virtually similar, but the intended usage for both is a bit different. First, config map is strictly intended for storing non-sensitive information such as configuration data and environment variables. On the other hand, secrets is used for storing sensitive data such as passwords, tokens, and keys. Unlike config map, which has no encryption available, with secret, you can enable encryption in order to use it safely. Talking about the similarities, both objects are meant to be injected to the pods, but secrets is very specific and is intended to hold confidential data. Now, let's talk about how you can create config maps. Well, there are two ways you can create them. First is called the imperative approach and the other declarative. Let's look at imperative first. With the imperative approach, you can use the kubectl command followed by config map and the name of the config map and the key value pair with the literal parameter. The literal means that you are passing the key value directly during the creation process. These key values pair can be something like first name as a key and the first name like John as a value. With the declarative approach, you can use the file structure of config map and define key value pairs inside it. Then you save the file with an extension of YML. 
Afterwards, all you need to do is run the kubectl apply command and provide it the file that you just saved. We will look into this shortly in the demo. So let's dive right into the demo and look at how to create config maps and use them in pods. Here I have my GCP master and worker node set up. First, I'll SSH into this session. Now, for this demo, you can go to the official documentation of Kubernetes. I have this page opened up. In my opinion, all you need to do is experiment with these commands. With a little bit of patience, you would be able to understand most of the documentation without any help. So, under this section that says create a config map, the first thing that we are going to be looking at these commands. So, as you can see, with this command, it first creates a directory of config map which is located inside configure pod containers. Next, it downloads two files from the Kubernetes website which are game.properties and UI properties and then pushes that into directory that we just created. Afterwards, what it does it, it creates the config map using this command with the config map name being game-config and it passes it the file which are located in this directory. Therefore, in this manner, it is essentially creating config maps from directory because the directory will be holding two files. Let's do this. So first, I'll copy this command and essentially copy paste most of the code. Next, I'll download these two files and then we'll again be looking into this. Now, what I first want to do is I'll open these files. So as you can see, we have the UI properties with the key value pairs being listed like this. And the same goes for game.properties. So game.properties has these values, which is enemies equal to aliens, lives equal to three, etc, etc. Now, we are not much interested in that, but what we are interested in is creating the config map using this directory. So if we look at my directory here, it has configure pod container. And if we go inside it, we should see the files that we downloaded. So it has the files downloaded here. Now we'll create the config map. This is done by using the kubectl command followed by create and then passing it the config map argument. Then we provided the name of our config map and follow it with the file argument. And then we provided our directory. In this case, it's configure ports, container and config map. So we hit enter and we should have created our config map. So it says here we have created our config map and we can view this by typing kubectl get config maps. As you can see, we have created the game dash config. Now to view what's inside this, all you have to do is type in kubectl get config map followed by the name of your config map and then using dash o yml. So it has the game dot properties values key value pair here and the UI properties key value pairs here. Now again, let's go back to the documentation. So we have created config maps from directory. Now let's look at how you can create config maps from just a file. So here, unlike last time when we pass the directory, we are just passing one single file and we are giving it the config map name as game-config-2. So let's create this config map. And in this case, our config map name is game-config-2. So, because this time a directory was not passed, we should have only game.properties data in the config map that we just created. So let's verify this. As you can see, we have just the game.properties key value pairs here. And this was created using just one single file. Now, 
Let's look at how you can use imperative approach to create a config map. What we did till this point was use a declarative approach in which files were already there and we just passed it to the kubectl create command. With this command, we use the from literal argument and we pass it a key value pair. Here we are providing this key value pair of special how which equals very and special type which equals charm. So let's create this config map. This time let's check how many config maps we have available. So now we have a new special config. Let's see what we have inside it. So as you can see values that we provided which were special dot how equal to very and special dot time equal to charm are available here. And now let's see how you can actually inject values into ports using keys and config map references. So let's go through the documentation and see what we have. So under this section we can see that we are defining an environment variable here which is from literal equal to special or how equal to very which we just did as you can see here. Next what we are doing is we are assigning the special dot how variable to our config map and we are doing this for this specific variable. So if you look at this you can see that it has the name of the pod which will be this. Next it has a container test container and under the environment it has a variable name called special level key and it gets this value by referencing to the config map which is named special config and it references to the key of special dot how and then it creates this pod. So here kubectl will be downloading the yml file and creating it right away but what I'll be doing is I'll be copying this and then create it on my system. And now we have created our pod which is named dappy test pod. Now if we look at our documentation it says here that we referenced special config and we have referenced the special dot how key. Now this should be reflected in the environment variable called special key inside the pod that we just created which is named dappy test pod. So to check this what we are going to do is we'll type in one command which is called kubectl log followed by the pod name. And as you can see here we have the special level key defined as very. And this is what we wanted to see. And with that I hope you have a better understanding of what config maps is. This session was by no means a very comprehensive session on this topic but at least with this knowledge you can understand how config maps is used to inject values into the ports. So do experiment and keep learning. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!